I've been using the new Elegoo Neptune 4 Max for a few weeks now and I've printed some really awesome stuff so far. Like this octopus bottle holder model from STL Flix. It holds a standard bottle and I printed it in this cool sparkle green PLA filament. Just look at the detail on this thing. With a layer height of 0.2 millimeters, this massive model took just under 24 hours to print. And the best part, it didn't need any supports. I highly recommend checking this model out if you have a cool bottle to display. Next, I printed this mushroom skull model from user Mike IEA on printables. I printed it using a rainbow PLA, which has a super satisfying effect. Although the larger model scale here made the colors transition a little faster than I would have liked, it's still amazing to me that this didn't need any supports. There's quite a lot of blobbing and stringing, so let's talk about why that happens. When I shoot these time-lapse videos, the print head assembly moves out of the way for a clear snapshot of the print. The print head dwells in the corner of the print bed for just a few milliseconds while the picture is taken. During this time, a small blob of filament can leak from the hot end, and then be dragged back into the print. This is especially prevalent on these fast moving clipper machines as they need a little more temperature on the hot end to keep up with the fast printing. The blobbing and stringing is easily taken care of though as the filament that leaks from the nozzle is already cooled by the time it's dragged back into the print. After cleanup, this mushroom skull looks awesome, and I'll probably use it to hold a house plant. Speaking of houseplants, I found these spice jars at the dollar store and I thought they'd make great little vessels to propagate or root new houseplants in. I designed this tray that four of these jars can screw into, which can be suspended in a window with two lengths of rope. It took just six hours to print four of these, and just look at this print quality. The top layer here is super smooth without any voids, super impressive. Now I just have to find some new house plants to take cuttings from. This video is brought to you by Elegoo. Whether you're interested in FDM or resin printing, Elegoo has a machine for you. From budget and beginner friendly machines to high end machines with professional results and everything in between. Head over to the link in the description and help support the people who support this channel. Finally, I found this awesome Raven model on printables from user Macroglossum. I scaled it up 200% and let the Neptune 4 Max do its thing. Of course I ran out of filament here and had to swap to a new roll, but the resulting model turned out great. Again, there's a small amount of stringing and blobbing from the time lapse process, but I decided to give this one some sanding, followed by some primer, and 
then a coat of reflective gold paint. I'm going for a weathered bronze statue look here, so I weathered it using some black acrylic paint. And check out the results. This is an awesome model, and again, printed without any supports. That's all for today. You can find all these models linked in the description to print for yourself. If you have something you want to see printed here on the Wild Rose Builds channel, leave me a comment and consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing.